is on. Recording started. Buddy. Let's get the fuck out of here, eh? Hey? <sighs> oh, fuck. <sighs> hey Siri, call my mom on FaceTime audio. I mean, everything was recorded, so hopefully I recorded enough of the interaction this morning that prompted the interaction, which I told her I'm not staying. In that interaction, in the earlier one, I'm sanding the, uh, I'm sanding this table thing, and I'm sanding the edges with the orbital sander, I mean, you know, the machine sander. Then she says we can sand the edges with, um, and then she shows me some paper. And I see the paper, and I understand, oh, that doesn't go on the sander. I don't say that. Uh, she says, yes, we can use this paper by hand. And I, I've had it up to here with, it's 34 degrees, I'm sanding, just speak to me clearly. Tell me, oh, you know what, I'd rather if you used uh, this paper. I'm too tired, I'm just gonna take what you said literally, we can use that. Okay, cool. Well, actually, no, first I gave her a chance, so I don't understand. She said, you don't understand? What I'm saying is the edges of the table, these are the edges. She shows me the edges of the table, because maybe that's the part I hadn't understood. She says, these edges, we can use this paper. I stared at her. She said, we can do it by hand with this paper. I stared. I said, she said, you still don't understand? I said, no, you know what, I do understand. We can use this paper to do it by hand, okay. So I put it to the side, start to pick up the machine. So she says, yeah, I prefer it. I say, ah, thank you, okay, thank you, thank you. And then I wrote in my journal, that's the last straw for me. I'm, 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 I'm out of here. Um, and you know, here's how I justify it. First of all, it's just fucking exhausting. Um, and it just makes me literally feel queasy. And maybe that's, that's not her fault that I feel queasy. It just means it's just not gonna work. Um, but here's the other thing. On top of the fact that she implies sort of most things are like consequence or anything that could mildly be negative in her mind, like asking someone to do something, whatever. She, uh, she implies everything. And so I reckon, Anything that could possibly be negative, her brain's interpretive mechanisms, her, her reception of a message is probably the same deal. She probably, uh, her interpretive mechanisms are as though the other person also is hiding anything, you know, is hiding certain stuff and it all needs to be interpreted. So just like she fills in the gaps when she's speaking, she fills in the gaps when she's listening, except maybe with me you don't need to fill in the gaps. I'll fill in the gaps. I won't, I won't, and if, there, if I left you any gaps, you can ask me questions, okay? But you don't need to fill in the gaps. So anyway, so you guys, you know, for her, she's probably all about that, uh, and which explains my conversations with her. And how often, oh sorry, and how often, um, she, uh, yeah, she just hears stuff that I'm not saying, you know? And she just needs to, I don't know, it's, ugh. Uh, I mean, the rest of us should do a commentary of the video or something. Uh, just not, just not good. Just not good. And that's, I'm sure that's working perfectly fine for her. Which is why, you know, I got, I got nothing against her as a person. I do have something against her as a person of humanity because like, just fucking say what you mean. The world would be just a better place. <laughs> but uh, no worries. But I do not tolerate the assumption that, uh, that, uh, that I don't try. Hey Siri, call my mom on FaceTime audio on speaker, please. Sorry, the FaceTime audio is getting iPhone on speaker. It's not on speaker. Hey, hey, buddy, you got a minute or a few minutes? Oh uh, yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Great. So um, so I just left. Yeah, that package came at the perfect time. 
because you know I was still planning to leave tomorrow. And uh, but I but anyway, I took Neil for a walk and got the wine anyway. He got three bottles. Also, I know she likes uh, raisins, so I got her two bags of raisins. And um, and uh, and uh, anyway, so I'm sanding, right? Because uh, you know I thought uh, I will I'll still try to you know I'll try to finish the sanding before I before I go. And so I'm sanding the edges of this table, right? And she comes over and she says, uh, and she says, um, I'm sorry, and she says, um, she, she picks up a roll of sandpaper that's kind of near me, and she says, so we can, and we can use this uh, to sand the edges by hand. Oh, okay. So I said, uh, and I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I've had it up to here with this kind of talk, this, this double speak, whatever. So I said, I don't understand. She says, you don't understand? I said, no. She says, well, and she, tells, she explains what the edges of the table are. And, uh, and she says, so we can use this paper uh, for the edges, uh, you know, to do it by hand. And I said, and we're just staring at each other. She goes, you still don't understand? I go, no. And then I go, you know what? Yeah, I do understand. Okay, we can use that for uh, the edges. So I put it aside because I don't have time for that. I got a course in a few hours. So, uh, so I'm going to continue to use the machine. She says, no, I prefer that we use that. I go, ah, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, and uh, then she says uh, something about which uh, broom to use to sweep up. Uh, makes it as though she's saying, don't use blank broom. Uh, when in reality, she's saying, please remember to uh, sweep up afterwards. Even because I've never used whatever broom she's talking about. And I used my broom yesterday. I, I swept up, except for like what was under the table because uh, I was like, well, I'm just gonna, I might be at it again later today. So anyway, so I swept up around. Um, and uh, anyway, so uh, anyway, so I, I uh, so I start to uh, clean up. Um, you know, I put away the sander, and you know, I'm done. I'm out of here. This is this doesn't work for me. This kind of communication, and especially here's the other reason. Because yeah, I could just work extra hard uh, to uh, to make sure that I always interpret whatever she's implying uh, with what she says, even though that's not my brain isn't particularly good at uh, understanding when what is being communicated. Especially because she hides it with this big smile, so it just makes it really hard. I can't even use her facial expressions. Um, anyway, so but then the other the other consequence, the other consequence of uh, that. Is that, um, is that I think she thinks that I communicate the same way. And so she thinks that, you know, she has to read between the lines and what I'm saying. And I've seen her do that. And I have not liked what she has um, thought she saw between the lines, you know? So anyway, so uh, so she so I'm cleaning up inside. She comes over and says, uh, hey, uh, do you have a moment? Can we talk? Uh, but you know, she likes to just like come over to my door. I had just got out of the shower, so I'm butt naked. I don't know whether she saw me or not. I said, uh, I said, uh, I said that I would, uh, I said I would come over, uh, get dressed, and I'd come over. And um, and then that's when I noticed that she's like right there by the door. Anyway, so uh, so I go over, and everything's recorded. I go over. I uh, say to her. Uh, you know, uh, yo, uh, or she says to me, you know, that for the past few days I've been avoiding her. I don't want to have dinner with them. I don't want to do this with them. I don't want to do that with them. But over just the last like few days, all of a sudden they've been inviting me to a lot of stuff. Uh, one time they invited me to ice cream after, and go when they invited me to ice cream, I pointed at the four ice cream wrappers on the table. I was in the middle of sawing. I also don't like to stop what I'm doing. That's just how my brain works. I like to. I know that I have to saw for another hour, and then I have to get ready for my class. So no, I don't want to just drop this. I've already had four ice creams. I'm okay for ice cream. And to be honest, I want to talk to your wife. But I didn't say any of that. I just pointed at the at the. I just pointed at the ice cream on the table, and I said, oh man, I've already had a ton of ice cream. So then, then so Marcia says to me today, oh, you didn't want an ice cream for us. See, that's an example of her reading into um, what I did. And in this case, yeah, she's correct. It's not that I didn't want to hang out with you guys at all. It's just that I don't like interacting with you. Um, and so yeah, great job you read that into it. I think it's super unhealthy that we have to rely on the other person to always read into things. I think the healthier thing would have been for you to just assume that it wasn't that I didn't want to spend time with you, and instead just assume that it was true what I said about the ice cream. Because that was a part of it. Um, yeah, and that as well, yeah. And then another time, I was uh, in bed watching a movie. I just smoked a joint. I went to relax. Huh? I can't actually, I can't actually hear you and I don't want to put headphones in. But, but I'm going to be at my destination in 30 minutes. I'll be able to hear you then. But can I get you caught up on the details now? Yes, yes. But you did remind me of something. See, I had been really confused about the table because when she came to me on Saturday to first ask me to do it, the way she presented it was to say, she was like, oh man, I was planning to do this today, but they just called me to set, so I'll be on set all day, so I won't be able to do the things that I had planned to do this weekend. So could you do it? So I thought, the way it was presented to me, I took it literally, I thought I was covering for her. I thought, yeah, absolutely no problem. But I also thought, well, if it's something she wants to do this weekend, then that means that I probably need to finish it this weekend, right? Uh, so I already had a class. So I said to her, I asked her, hey, uh, uh, do I have to do this? Uh, uh, no, I said to her, uh, I, because I had that class, uh, uh, can, you know, is it okay if it's done uh, by tomorrow evening? Uh, like, you know, it's a weekend thing, right? It's not just a today thing. And she says, absolutely, no, 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 take your time, take your time, take your time, no problem at all. Well, I'm thinking that uh, that this part, this part I was able to think, oh, this might be bullshit. Uh, so this whole take your time thing is bullshit. Uh, she wants it done this weekend. She plans to do it this weekend. She got called away. She wants it done this weekend. So I'm just going to try to get it done for this weekend, you know? Uh, but then, of course, there was a power outage, and so she had told me, okay, we're not going to continue on that. Then on Monday, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe she'll pick it up again or whatever. Or if she wants to assign it to me, absolutely no problem. And so what, she, what, how, what did she say to me? So we're not going to do that table. We're going to do this table. I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Who, who, can you just say it more directly, please? She goes, she goes uh, well, we're going to do this table. I say, who's we? Is it me? She says, yeah, you. I mean, we agreed from the beginning that you would be standing, right? No, 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 no. We agreed that you had to go to a, for a filming, and so then I would be, uh, and so I would be doing it that weekend. Uh, I'm absolutely fine doing it now, but can we just say that? Can we just say, oh, hey, Eris, can you do this, blah, blah? Anyway, um, so anyway, so it's today. She's said that uh, we use uh, this paper to do uh, to do when we want to do it by hand or whatever. Uh, and I go, all right, cool. And then, uh, and then, so I pack things away. I uh, go start to get the vehicle ready. I'm hoping my package will come. And uh, she says, hey, could we chat? So I go, oh yeah, okay, let me get dressed, uh, I'll come over, we'll chat. Uh, she says to me, uh, hey, you know, the past few days, you haven't wanted to hang out with us. Oh, right, because I said I was taking a nap when she invited me to dinner.
Um, what do you mean, uh, okay? And then you come back to me a couple days later, you didn't want to eat with us. What? I was literally in bed. No, I didn't want, what? Anyway, so, um, so she says, you know, I haven't, she says it's okay if, you know, sometimes I, you know, once or twice, you know, I, I don't feel up to it or whatever, but she says, you know, but this isn't going to work out, uh, if, yeah, she says, and then she says, she says, uh, she says also, you know, you know, you, you're like, oh, I don't understand, I don't understand, because it's like you don't understand when I say, because in French, they say one, they say one uses, uh, this, and what that means is we, okay, so when every time I said that she said we, really what she said was one, but one means we, okay, so she said, uh, you know, you're so confused when I would say one, um, but one means, you know, we, and this is a project for all of us, like when you finish sanding, I want to, you know, paint it, so it's really a project that we're all working on, uh, so, and I said, okay, cool, great, great, and she said, yeah, but then, like, you know, I say we, and all of a sudden, you're like, uh, okay, bitch, listen to me. On Sunday, on uh, Monday, when you said we, you were not talking about we. You even said so. You were talking about me. You even said yes at the beginning. Didn't we say that you would do the sanding? So no, it, it, sometimes it isn't actually we. And, and right now, when it was about the edges, it wasn't we. It was hey, Eris, please don't use the machine on the edges. Please use this paper and do it by hand. It was not we. And she's like, but you know, you don't like when I didn't say all this there. I just nodded and smiled and said great. And she said, uh, and she's you know, she's talking about how it's we, blah blah. And uh, and she said, you know, and so you know, and, that, and she talked about how she really felt really uncomfortable that I was saying that I didn't understand. And you know, and she's trying to say we do this, and I was like, you know, and just made her really not at ease. And I was like, I hear you, I hear you. And she's like, I really thought I like did it in a nice way, you know. Blah, blah, and I'm thinking that's exactly the problem, actually. But uh, but anyway, I go, yeah, no, you did, you did. And uh, and she go, and she, you know, she says that. Uh, she, anyway, she's saying that there's a problem with communication, blah blah. Which is what I've been thinking the past week and a half. So uh, so I just say, okay, okay. And she goes, okay, well that's it. So I just walk away and I go back in my vehicle. Uh, but then I hear her voice again. So I go back and say, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. You. She said, I mean, you know what the heck? I, you know, I thought we were having a conversation, and you just kind of walked away. I said, oh, I'm sorry. So I sit down, and she says, uh, you know, you know, I mean, I think we really have to talk and figure out this communication thing. If you're, you know, I mean, you know, you're, you know, otherwise I don't know how we're going to be able to, you know, make it to October. Woman, what are you talking about? You're leaving in two weeks. There is never us making it to October. Huh? I don't understand. You're thinking it's actually goes? Any communication problems with me? No, I'm making a joke. Okay. Don't make jokes because I still can't hear you. Another 24 minutes until I'm somewhere I can hear you. And it's super hot, so I gotta roll up the window to even try to hear you. And I'm driving. There's a police car been behind me for the past mile. So anyway, so uh, so she uh, so she says this thing about uh, oh shit. So she says this thing about uh, about communication, October, and all that. And, uh, and I, and, and uh, so she's like, you know, so should I be trying to figure this out, whatever? Uh, and I'm thinking, that's so, so funny, because you, you decided my uh, departure date without, like, a conversation, like, about what my plans were here or anything, even though every past moment, you've always, you've always said, even when I've been asking, uh, how, you know, why I can stay, you said, oh, you know, that's not, you know, we're not, blah, blah, it doesn't matter, blah, blah. You've talked about the activities I just started getting involved in in September. You talked about me falling in love with a Polish woman, maybe. Go when my mom was here, said, hey, and if you stay here for another year, you'll be able to get involved in this, blah, blah. So, uh, so, uh, so, so, yeah, so obviously, anyway. So she says uh, that, and I say, oh, yeah, actually, uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm all waiting for a package. It's supposed to come tomorrow, but my dad said it might come this morning, and, uh, or this afternoon, you know, early this afternoon, and when it does, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. And uh, she says, what, huh? And uh, anyway, so, and then the rest of the thing is, I mean, all of it was recorded, uh, but, so then anyway, so then she really wants to have a conversation about it, of course, and, uh, and, you know, she wants to let me know how much she appreciates me, how much she learns from me, blah, 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 and she's like, you know, so please tell me why, I'm telling her, I don't think there's really any point in me, like, listing the, sort of the reasons that I don't feel comfortable here, um, and, uh, I don't, you know, blah, blah, and, but she insists, she's like, no, but please, you know, tell me why it's so important to communicate and blah, blah, right? So then she offers me a glass of wine, and then, uh, all right, hold on, let me just let the, uh, police car go past me now. What? Okay, hold on a second then, hold on, give me a second. I gotta move over it. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, okay, I'll call you when I get there, I see. Okay, love you, bye. So I got a glass of wine and you're not allowed to, I don't think you're even allowed to be on the phone anyway, hands free or not. I mean, these guys don't care about me. These guys are here for the terrorists.